everybody, I'm the Manjen, and I'm here with you with a new RPG game that I'm working on. I ver I started working on this RPG game about a month ago, and it has a really good progress. So, um, a couple of you might know know me from the Diablo style tutorial guide, and I had a very positive feedback. So thank you very much. If you want to learn how to make a game like this, you can obviously go to those tutorials. I'll have a link sometime now, maybe. Okay. So first off, I'll show you the game. For now, I have disabled the chase behavior for these mobs just to make it a li little easier for you to for me to show you and afterwards I will enable it. So first as you guys might know I'm having a little bit of a lag over here because I'm recording. Uh, sorry about that. And oh, it's it's fine now actually. So as you can see, I'm a very huge Diablo fan. So this game is obviously a click to move, uh, click to move, and I have an interface over here with action bars, and you have key bindings over here. And you can actually these these tabs don't work yet, uh, but you have key bindings, and you can actually key bind these action bars to the spell number. So, for example, I can have one to Q, and it's gonna key bind this action bar to Q, and then we can go to the action bar, and we can set our skill. So, for example, I'm gonna set lightning strike as my skill. So whenever I press Q, I'm going to play the lightning strike skill. So let's go ahead and try. As you can see, we're attacking uh, the guy. And as we press Q, it's going to do the lightning strike. Sorry for the lag again. It just ha it's happened. It's not smooth because I'm recording. And uh, my player actually has a health and a resource. A uh, resource. Um, bar but it actually doesn't show yet because I've not implemented the GUI for that uh, yes, so I can actually die or go out of resource and then in 2 let's say um, I actually have stuns over here so let's try a stun so as you can see I can go here and stun him and he's stunned and it has a 7 second 8 second cooldown and I will actually show you how the stun works I will enable uh, the orge to chase me and as you can see it's chasing me and as a stun it'll not be able to chase me for that amount of time for two seconds and it'll start following me again and I can go back Q and also just auto attack so um, I also have added two very cool things I've added area effects and I've also added ranged attacks let me show you actually let me uh, enable the chase behavior for both of these um you have orge and you have skeleton and by the way i actually bought these um assets from the unity store they costed quite a penny So you can see these both characters are chasing me and there's the area of effect and it stunts boom there and I also have something really cool which is gonna surprise you guys boom boom isn't that cool those are actually um, uh, I don't know what do you call them those are fireballs that are created so yep <laughs> I think this is really cool and I wanted to show you guys these and notice how if if the if the skeleton is in between of the balls it does not actually affect it but only affects when the ball hits him so I think that's a really cool thing to notice too and Actually, that's that's the whole game. I wanted to show you actually how these skills work. I'm not going to show you the code yet because it's way too much code. But I wanted to show you, demonstrate how flexible my game is. 
and this is, I think this is pretty amazing to me of how flexible the game is. For example, now we have single single target attacks, and now for example we have Blaze, our skill over here, and we have Impale, we have Shatter, Nightmare, etc. And these skills are actually over here. No, over here, Blaze, Impale, Lightning Strike, Shatter, Nightmare. All these skills are actually over here. And I want to show you that, for example, if you have, uh, take for example our lightning strike, for now over here. So for example now, we know that our lightning strike does not do any stun, but it just attacks the uh, the arch. But now, if I go to my lightning strike and I want to add a stun, I can just go to my stun time and say. I want to stun my enemy for two seconds, and um, one second. Where did it go? So I added a stun time for two seconds on my lightning strike, and if I go back and select my lightning strike, as you can see, it has added a two-second stun. So I just wanted to show you how flexible my code my uh skills are in terms of uh in terms of adding new stuff similarly if i wanted to add a new skill i can just minimize these one two three four five and just add add confident single target attack and i can just enter these values in they're quantum values, but they're needed to, d to define the skill, and I will have a new skill. And that is how flexible I made my um, game to be. So in terms of actually developing the game, it has become very easy for me. And also, I want to show you something really amazing. Um, as you can see, the skill, it only has three fireballs. If I add, if I change this number to maybe 10, it quite conveni conveniently changes the number of balls that you instantiate, which again, I think is very, very cool. And that's about it I wanted to show you. Um, and yeah, thank you very much uh, for watching my game. If you liked it, please comment and your and you can also give me some feedback and please like my video and share it to your friends as it will help me a lot and if you want to again learn how to make games like this you can check out my Diablo style tutorial and it's gonna teach you exactly not exactly how to make this kind of game but very very near and very very close to this and um Share, subscribe, like my video, comment and give me feedback and thank you very much.